everyone. In tonight's video, I'm going to do attempt to tie a fly that I haven't tied for much longer than like 15 years, probably more than 20. And it was like my very first beginnings. And it would be something like a traditional Bosnian fly called Kreica, meaning J wing fly. So they usually they call it like that because they use this part of the feather for the wings. They don't use those slips to pair them, they just roll them between their fingers and they that's how they use them. But what's interesting, I'm going to use only my hands, so my vice can rest for tonight. Anyway, uh, before I do that, I want to mention one channel that you should check out and uh, I'm gonna link it in the description down below, but I'm gonna show you some couple of photos right now and it's Evgeny Borovin a very very skillful tire that you should check out his channel and learn from him because his flies are like literally amazing his technique is amazing uh, the details that he pays attention are amazing everything about his flies uh, is amazing so I would highly recommend his channel and he also has Instagram I'm gonna link it down below in the video as well so Without any further ado, let's just get into tying and whatever I do, I'm going to post it. Uh, if I fail, you're going to see that and that's it. So I'm going to start with the hook. Uh, the only, let's say, easier part for me is that the hook is size 12. Uh, dry fly hook. For the body, I'm going to use one strand of silk. And then to make it stronger, and uh, to make it, let's say, in different color, so this is sort of yellow, I'm gonna go through, uh, through ba backs with this silk. So I'm just gonna wax it a little bit. Uh, it will prevent silk from fraying. Well, not completely, but it will. Uh, so it will be more resistant to my hands, which I destroyed because of the dry weather and uh, it will also change the color it will give it more buggier look you will see because i'll post macro photos of of the fly after i'm done with it so this is going to be for the body i'm not going to use any thread at this moment later i will start using the thread i may use the bobbin but let's just decide as i as i as i go with this fly so this is going to be more or less spontaneous for the body grizzly hackle for the tail, larger grizzly, grizzly hackle. Uh, sorry, for the for the legs, grizzly hackle. I don't know what I'm talking. And of course, for the wings, J wing. Now, uh, the only tool I'm going to use for the start is my scissors, and perhaps I'm going to use uh, hackle pliers. So, without any further ado, let's just hop into this and see where I go. Uh, so, being a right-handed tire, I'm going to use my left hand as a vice, and I'm going to start. Okay, let's see how close I can be with this lens. Uh, this looks relatively okay, so I'm just going to use my fingers to start everything here, and I'll leave enough room to uh, to mount my hackle in my wings and I'm gonna hold this here from time to time I can just uh, unwind the, the silk I mean this is real silk so it's not a fake one not the uh, artificial one this is real being in China it's it was quite a challenge to find I, I, I was thinking it's, it's going to be easier. So after I secured my starting point, I'm going to go back towards the head and I'm going to mount my tails over there. And that's going to create a taper as well. So if you're wondering why I'm not using my macro lens, uh, it's because it's manual and like going back and forth, it's going to be impossible to see anything I'm doing. So I'm going to just pluck out a little bit of 
barbs for the tail measure it a little bit and then just transfer keep it on the top of the hook yep I'm gonna shorten it a little bit now keeping constant pressure is challenging I can tell you that but it's not impossible I'm trying to use flat thread for this flat silk because that way I can do everything much smoother and the transitions are going to be much better okay I'm reaching the end and I have to correct the tail to compensate for the thread work I'm making because I cannot apply too much thread control right now and when I started tying as a kid this was my first method of uh, tying these flies and I remember like I would tie just a few flies and then my fingers would just hurt from pinching and uh, then my friend he borrowed me that thing I don't know how it's called like also so some sort of advice that you hold pieces of wood when you want to, to cut them or something so I would just put my hook into it and uh, and hold it over there so I created a little bit of taper with this okay when I reach the tail point, I'm gonna stop and prepare for the for the ribs. And for the ribs, I'm gonna just twist the thread hard. So okay, and then I'm just gonna rib it. So I'm using the same thread over here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I'm holding here, keeping the tension between my fingers and the hook. Now, when I'm not doing that, I'm just pinching between fingers. And that's going to hurt your fingers after a while. That's interesting. I mean, that's physics. Yeah. So, uh, just because I'm using my hands, I'm going to use this... A through zero thread and I'm gonna transfer the thread into from the bobbin so I'm just gonna try to do it like very old-fashioned way uh, and now I'm gonna just tie a couple of half hitches over here to prevent everything from sliding away and Let's start. Okay. When I transfer the black thread onto the silk, I'm gonna cut the silk away. And I'm also going to cut this waist end. So, this would be it, more or less. Sorry for not showing you the every detail like you may be used to. But okay. My scissors fell off the fell off the table, so I damaged the tips. I need to buy new ones, definitely. Okay. Now I don't know how much you can see, but that's it for a start. Now I'm going to add wing and for the wing I said it's J wing. I lost it. No, I'm not I'm not. So it's here. I'm just going to take like this align it perpendicular to the hook shank. So align the tips more or less. Uh sorry, perp perpendicular to the rakes. <coughs> this is it roll it and then after I finished it looks like a mess obviously but it has what they say the right color 
So I'm just gonna keep the tension here now again. And eyeball the ling length of the wings. Now pinch and loop here. One, two, three. Lift those butt ends and I'll do a couple of reps down. Just not to, if I lose the tension, I won't lose the wing. Okay. Now I'm just flattening the thread. As you can see, everything looks pretty much good so far. I, I can say that. Now I'm gonna just back up with these winds that I made and cover those butt ends. I frayed the thread already because my hands, I said, are rough. And okay. Now I'm just gonna do the half hitch. Okay. And one more, just in case. Okay. Now, when everything is ready, I can just let the fly be on the table, prepare my feather. And as I was talking about the feather in the one of my previ previous videos, I don't want to use this Part of the feather which has rake is a little bit uh, rounded up. I want to use this upper part of the feather with less web and also the rake is, is more flattened so it will lay, lay on the side and the uh, hackle will be uh, properly uh, mounted on the hook. So I just exposed a little bit of rake is over here and I'm gonna use it for the fly. The fly is safely mounted here okay now let me just align everything as, as it should be so I'm really sorry you can't see the details but like someone else uh, as, a, as help would be very useful here I'm gonna cut the two two like this Two long piece of rakes, and I'm going to cover this with thread. Now, when I reach this end part, I'll lift the wings up a little bit. One, and then go to the front again. Here, again. Just do the half hitch with frayed thread. Hopefully it won't break along the way. But now I can do the, the part that's probably the trickiest here. It's mounting of the hackle. So one behind and it should be like one to the front, but I want to make this a dry fly so it's going to be more to the front usually it would be uh, one in front uh, one behind the, the wing the wing yes and uh, two maybe in front of the wing so I'm just holding the hackle and yep now let's hold everything now it's going to be very very tricky because if I lose tension on the, on the hackle everything is going to be well loose so not good okay okay sorry guys I'm trying to get just the first one Okay, that should hold it, one, two, good job, now I'm gonna pull everything away from me, so I can do a finish, 
and whip finish obviously I'm going to do it by hand so I have to do it again okay okay this is struggle but the fly is almost done Okay. Now, as I'm, I want to cut this very close. So I'm just, as you can see, holding it here. Okay. I need to remove this feather. And the crates or J-wing fly is pretty much done. I mean, it doesn't look super neat as I usually do those flies when I'm using all the tools and everything. But as you can see, it's there, it's done. I shortened wings a little bit, but this is definitely going to catch some fish and uh, I think this is quite a good job. I'm, I have to say I'm a little bit proud of myself. And now I'm gonna transfer to macro uh, so you can see what I did. So this is how it looks magnified. Uh, yeah, you can see all the folds that I made, uh, but this is still very fishable fly. Uh, slightly over hackled if you ask me. Uh, slightly shorter wings, that's what I don't like. Uh, taper not so good but still good and messed up head uh considering i haven't been i haven't done it for like 20 years almost 15 20 years i don't know uh i think this is a good uh good fly uh this is going to get you fish that's that's like a fact uh so the only thing you need and that's why i made this video is passion for this uh for this hobby that we have uh just to have devotion and will to find materials um, everywhere where you look you can find materials in my case this was silk and uh, wings can be chicken can be anything uh, can be J as I said as I used and when you get some tools when you buy some something uh, you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing and then you come to this and this one I tied using vice for the body I used my hands no bobbin again uh, and then I used a little bit of finer thread and the same hackle I mean as you can see it's the same exactly the same fly just more neat that's it so guys just get there sit die and go fishing that's all you need that's all we need thank you very much for watching uh, hope you like this video please leave a comment down below subscribe if you liked it and see you next week